Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, happy holiday season. Uh, this is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be coming out just around Christmas. So uh, happy holidays to everybody. Um, we got a, a nice little easy day lined up here. Uh, we have a patient who uh, has a prior history of uh, some abdominal surgery uh, and has had a lot of scar tissue in the uh, subcutaneous fat, the deep fat, and uh, the rectus abdominis muscles. And so uh, we're gonna be treating that today with some PRP scar therapy. So we're gonna open up some fascial planes, try to hydrodissect some of those nerves, small nerves uh, out that are trapped that are causing him some pain, and then uh, try and help uh, just help him move better uh, from bringing up fascial restrictions there. Whole bunch of fun stuff. So that is our morning. Uh, it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous out here today. Uh, a little chilly for some people, but I absolutely love it. So uh, we are gonna get going here. Hope y'all enjoy it. All right, everybody. So we uh, finished up Friday here at RP, last Fridays at RP uh, of 2020 year 2020 has been our day ended up getting uh, pretty busy pretty crazy hence why uh, this is not filmed in my procedure room but uh, recap on our procedure today so as the intro kind of stated our procedure was for a patient who has had a few abdominal surgeries that has resulted in some excessive scar tissue that starts at the level of the epidermis of the skin and goes all the way down through uh, the rectus abdominis muscle. And so our approach today, we did two things primarily. The first one was uh, we used PRP and the more superficial layers to try and help uh, remodel some of that scar tissue so that uh, it's a little more vascularized, a little bit more pliable so that it doesn't have the amount of fascial tethering that it currently has uh, but also that it can uh, is just healthier tissue overall. So that was our first approach in this case, and we use PRP for that. The second approach was we used the platelet pore plasma, uh, which is still going to have uh, growth factors and cytokines in it. Obviously, very low in platelets, hence why it's platelet pore plasma. And we use that to mechanically hydrodissect the tissue. So under ultrasound guidance. We we're actually going into the scar tissue, injecting the fluid, watching it follow the path of least resistance and then trying to go where the fluid does not go to further open up those spaces. So obvious uh, physics dictates that if we inject a fluid into an area, it's gonna follow the path of least resistance. And so when we inject the, the, the this PPP to open up these fascial planes uh, and open up some of the scar tissue, uh, we really have to watch where this fluid is going so that way we can adjust and we can go and inject where the fluid is not going because that's where the fluid is, is needed the most because that's where the scar tissue is the worst. And so uh, we spent probably about a good 20 minutes uh, hydrodissecting and opening up the scar tissue all the way starting at the, the deepest portion of the, uh, the rectus abdominis and then moving up all the way through to the superficial, even into uh, the uh, dermal tissue, uh, which you know visibly is what you're gonna see on the scar, trying to just make this more pliable. Uh, we'll probably repeat this treatment in about six to eight weeks, depending on how the patient's doing. Uh, and we predict there'll probably be about three to four treatments for us to really make a dent uh, in the scar tissue, just because uh, it is so bad. But we're uh, obviously gonna hope that he starts to improve throughout that time and we just kind of chip away at it. That is our Friday. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy new year. And I am excited uh, to get this back rolling in the new year with a uh, new 2021 version of Fridays at RP. Mm -hmm.